Well, thank you for joining Wolf Game Theory today, as always. And just know, nothing in the show is to be construed or interpreted as financial advice. Also, any guest of the show is not reflective of the opinions and or point of view of Wolf Game Theory and should be considered opinion. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody out there on the farm. This is the Wolf Game Theory. I am Layer Cake, and always I am joined by... Neil Bottle. Today we got a special, special something today. Mr. Neil Bottle was recognized <laughs> by the shepherd himself uh, out in the Wolf Game community as a voice for good and a welcomer of all players, new and old. Congratulations, Neil, on your call out from the one and only shepherd. Thanks so I want to say it's been an honor to work with you, and I must say I, I, I'm blessed. So thank you so much. I appreciate you. Yeah, yeah, I, I, that was a, a very, very nice surprise today. All right, the recognition was uh, nice. Um, yeah. Also, when I saw it, I was like, "Oh fuck, Neil's asleep." Because you're asleep every oh, time yeah, yeah, yeah. makes an announcement, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, right? yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, oh, I, awesome. I I saw it when I got up, and then I was like running to the accountant and doing some bits and pieces <laughs> so i had no time like, yeah. to even kind of look and every time i looked at twitter it was like you know because it was tagged in the post it was like 20 notifications 30 notifications i was like oh is this a gift <laughs> can i write this up um, <laughs> let's, uh, let's get into the standings today uh we'll start off as we always do with team team g money Followed by the real crypto coach Corey, AJV, Panther QB, and Wongsworth. Middle of the pack now is Johnny Moe, real crypto Corey number two, Lord Fenrir, the Dow, Woolish1026, Friends721, and just some guy. And in the basement, we have Shamdu, the Anon, and Malcode. Running through the moves real quick, we have House G Money, who was attacked by real crypto coach Corey. Rebuted by Lord Fenrir, attacking crypto coach Corey, and then Corey going back at G Money again. We then have two fortifications by the Anon and AJV, who's we're going to get into in just a moment. Friend721 was attacked by Woolish1026 for the latter bottom half of the order, slapping each other in the face. Johnny Moe attacked G Money, and what? A surprise that was. Can we talk about that for just a second? Because I feel like at that moment, you know, kind of the cards were on the table and the sleeves got rolled up. And I think, yeah, it was a surprise being on Team G Money. I was very surprised to see that. I was like, wow, I thought that was the homie. Yeah, yeah. What's the need? I think, mm. you know, as far as I'm concerned, we are seeing the initial run-up of the uh, v-friend strategy mm. you know i think the team is sort of uh packed on the pounds with sheep and wool and we're now seeing the benefits of that with that real strong move i wasn't i wasn't under the impression that it was going to happen this quick but he rocketed up there real fast and if you look at you know the behemoth of panther that sort of was shifted out of the way thanks to crypto coach Corey and his sort of continuous onslaught. It just seems like those two teams now have turned their sights on G Money and, and are really going at that top prize. And I think it's going to be a dogfight between crypto Corey coach and AJ going down the stretch because those are the only teams with two, you mm. know, so they can just really lay it on heavy. So this is where, where alliances are going to come into play, I think you know yeah yeah it's it's certainly really interesting good. to look at the amount of fortifications that aj has um yeah but uh also the increase in wool on the g money pack has uh that's ramped up severely um well yeah well, that's that, that giveaway that they've been uh, or that special prize that they have sort of been sort of quietly yeah. championing here in this past sort of latter half of the week up into the weekend. Yeah. And I've, you know, kind of heard rumblings again, being part of the G Money crew that that's going to be a pretty special treat 
So those who really got in on that situation, I think, are going to be quite satisfied with that move. Um, yeah. And I was talking to you before the show today of just like the just the sheer amount of value that you know we talk about the wolves and and the value that they're extrapolating from this game and their position in the game. I mean, if you're a sheep or or just a wool holder and and you staked with the right teams, not only are you going to come out ahead financially, but you know you might have a V friend and something special from G Money coming down the pipe. You know, which that's a lot of value just from a couple, you know, couple months. So pretty stoked on it. Yeah, and even for Crypto Corey, people who are staking with him get added benefits in the game that Huey has launched, which um, oh, we can kind I of see it here. Uh, I don't think it's launched yet, but it will. Wow. They're going to launch their game before Wolf Game does. <laughs> No, we are going to make it. Yeah, it's so funny. It's brilliant. I love it. I love it. It's just incredible. Like, fair play to Huey. And uh, yeah, so he just said that there's like added benefits in the Battle Royale for people that are staked in the Kingdom of Cory. So that's cool. Like, wow. you know, it's just benefits all around for everybody. That's what everyone loves to see. <laughs> it's good fun. Yeah, I think that's pretty much the moniker of Wolf Game at this point. This point is the community sort of enriches mm. the value of being a part of it. You know, it's not so much, you know, what can devs do, but rather, you know, the community sort of steps up and really starts providing value for everyone. I think that's pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we move on and have a look at the prices. Um I think wolf prices are very interesting. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And uh, like that Gen Generation Seven, uh, Gen One Alpha Sevens, they were mm -hmm. they were down just a little bit lower at one, at some points. Um, land thirty two. You, you can get a Gen Zero Alpha Six for one ETH, or a little 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 more than two ETH less than. A Gen 7, Gen 1. Wow. That's that's incredible. So I'd love to give a, a shout out to Yaya, um, who has launched a Wolf Game Tools Premium Membership. Um, oh. So that's pretty cool. Um, I picked one up. I paid in wool because I could, and I just like to do that. Um, so... Yeah, his site is pretty kick-ass anyway, um, but this will now give you the chance to have added benefits. He said he's launching a more streamlined site for the premium members. Um, so, yeah, it's well worth picking up. There's going to be a thousand passes, and then he'll release another thousand at a later time. Uh, he doesn't know oh. when or how or whatever, but... Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, just a shout out to him. I like it. I like it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And like that, that, that his side is just incredible. Like a uh, real asset to to anybody. You know the asset calculator, all the metrics, guides, records. It's um, it's an all in one here. And like I, I, I use it daily. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, again, we're looking at sort of reflections of the global crisis i think is sort of really setting off sort of ripples in all the markets that we see from you know the standard currency to the crypto markets commodities markets it's all pretty much shit at this point mm -hmm. uh you know the volatility usually is in the f in the favor of cryptocurrency, I would say, but in this case, it's really just dragging the whole market down. But I think wool is holding up surprisingly strong in the f in the face of it. Yeah, I think um, if this was a few years ago, crypto would have been hit a lot harder. Um, I actually think that there's a use for it at, at this current time, and I know. Um, I've seen a lot of donations flowing in in the forms of cryptocurrency, Bitcoin and yeah. and such. And even we mentioned on the last show, like wool was used for that reason as well. Yeah. So awesome. like, yeah, it is. It is. It's really awesome. Uh, so 
yeah, I think that that this uh, this actually could be a, a bull case and like um, a catalyst that kind of shows people as as we watch uh, a lot of countries take a lot of control financially over their kind of people and their countries. Um, I think more people will realize the power in a decentralized uh, asset class like this. Yeah, I was listening to um, our public radio station this morning and some of the news outlets were reporting that they had actually gone and asked some of the crypto exchanges to cut off services to Russia. Yeah. Um, in the face of this crisis. And uh, I think finance was one of the ones that initially responded saying, you know, we're not going to, sh to shut off the whole situation. We will, you know, look, investigate and find places that we know are connected to, mm. you know, devious activity and we'll take, we'll take a look at it. But yeah. there was never an agreement to actually shut off all... You know, Binance is, again, a centralized exchange with a, you know, a clear-cut person in charge and decision makers involved, and it's a multinational corporation. So, you know, that's to be expected from someone like that, especially, you know, uh, someone who's drawing as much heat from global regulators as Binance has. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, when we look at things like Bitcoin, you know, if I could say the B word, you know, we look at a truly decentral, you know, programmable currency, we see the power of it in times like this. You know, we always made the use case for, you know, people during an economic catastrophe. Well, you know, during wartime, when you have to flee, physically flee your location, you're not going to want to, you know, carry all your, your values and your belongings with you. Myself, I have a ledger that I can put in my pocket and flee wherever I need to at a moment's notice if war or anything ever happened where I am. Yeah. And there's your value. There's, <coughs> your health. there's you know, a way you can, you can uh, move forward with your, with your life uh, mm -hmm. at that point. So, you know, there's, there's a value case for it. It's just, you know, unfortunately living in America, we don't necessarily see that side of it and people are far removed from that sort of, you know, uh, scenario. But, you know, if you talk to people that have been affected by it, they, they value cryptocurrency in a whole different way. So, mm -hmm. Absolutely. For that. Yeah. So. Well, on that note, I think we'll uh, wrap this up. And um, a shout out to our great community. Um, yeah. Yeah, congratulations also. And, you know, I know I congratulated Neil on the top of the show, but Metapunk, uh, Farmer Ron, Auctioneer, and Brian. Also, thank you all for being the voice of the community and guiding noobs and, and OGs alike into this wonderful universe called Wolf Game. So have a great day. Good night and good luck.